Hi there guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to playtest Farming Giant and uh, it, really, it came to me. I bought it on Steam yesterday at 20% discount and after playing a few hours I kind of realized I might have to do a review of this game or playtest to help you guys to decide whether you want the game or not. My first impressions of the game before I actually got it was it was a modern version of SimFarm. And it almost is. But there are just a few things missing all the time. Right now I have disabled all the audio options because they were crazy loud. So the main volume is also going to turn a bit down now because we're doing a video. <clears throat> One thing I'd like to mention before we start is the game is not able to keep track of multiple saves at a time. However, it works in profiles. So you have your farmer, you just create a new farmer if you want to create a new. And you can see I have this farmer that's called Fabel Me, of course. And he has been playing for 3 hours and 10 minutes in total. During that time, I have played several farms, and the thing is, they kind of included a RPG element. They uh, added skill sets and levels to this. So let's uh, let's head right into the game. We're going to skip the tutorial. I'm I'm going to play the tutorial for you. I'm going to be the tutorial. And uh, welcome to farming, guys. Okay, let's first get an overview. Up here we have our skill system. Nothing important yet. You can see I have skill points to spend and I'm level 7. That's because I have been playing previous games. We're going to ignore them for now. This is our level bars. When you increase both of them you gain one level. Speed control, time and weather, financial status and workers. You of course need workers. This up here is just back to main menu and you go all the way back each time. Don't worry, there's no load time when you hit resume. Help and lock. Irrelevant. Minimap down here. And your functions down here. One thing I have to criticize at first is on the box it says you can play across Europe in different farms and environments. That's not true. This, what you see here, is what they call Europe. You can see there's Berlin, Paris, Bern, Avignon, Vienna, Budapest, Warsaw. That's not Europe. Europe doesn't look like that. And Europe is certainly not that small. The only thing this thing has in common with Europe is, well, some of the city names and there actually is a train station. Yeah, we do have trains. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is find a good spot to build your farm. And you need to consider to transport anything you produce to a city. So you want to be near one or multiple cities. Also, uh, when you travel on roads, uh, your vehicles have to pay some sort of tax or road tax. So that's something you need to consider as well. So I think down here in this area is pretty good. You have three right next to each other or up here next to Berlin. Let's do that up here. Now here's the second thing. I'm going to scroll. This is scrolling with the arrow keys. It's very slow. There's no way to boost it. You can only move this slow. Camera movement is done by right clicking. You can turn. Middle mouse does nothing, scroll zooms. Okay, that's that's a bit annoying. I'd like the more traditional functionality when you control the things. And there's no way to rebind anything in the options. You have video options, which is the just resolution or full screen <laughs> aspect. Yeah, right. And audio options. Audio in this game is well, 
you guys probably know how often I've had bad audio on the videos and been messing around with codecs and uh, I don't know what. I think it could have been me who have made the audio for this game. <laughs> Sound assets are not great. Anyway, let's start. We're going to start by building our farm. And even though I'm level 7, that means I have un unlocked things you wouldn't have when you start up the game. I'm going to play it as level 1. First thing you want to do is use the land tool. Buy some land. And yeah, we are just going to build right here next to this uh, rail station. And you have to sort of mark out a uh, square or whatever shape you like. Hit confirm. Next thing you want is a homestead or farm. Main building. And we're just going to choose a small one. Turn it Next thing you want is a garret where you can store your tractors or any sort of farming equipment. And the way you turn your building is you hold left shift and left click with your mouse to place them. And, the, well, it's not the easy way, but a good way to start out the game is creating a stable for cow. You can see you can also create different animals, but you start out only being able to do cows. So we're going to do that. And we're going to place it right. That's right. Next thing we want is some fields because in order to have cows you need to feed them and they really eat a lot. So field icon right here or field tool if you want. And it works just like the first tool. You click right over here, bottom right, it says create. And you get this square, which you can shift and scroll to turn. But it's not, it's never going to fit anything. You can see, now I want to drag this, no, 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 no. You can't drag one corner. That's a, that's annoying. Anyway, that's one field. Once you have marked it out, click confirm. And uh, I found a good idea is to have several smaller fields rather than several large fields. Because uh, if you ha only have large fields, it's going to take a while before you are able to harvest any food or feed you're growing. So, let's make sure we can drive down this way. There we go. That's four fields. And we're going to grow grass on all of them. Next thing we have to do is connect everything up to roads. So, road tool right here. And, well, I'm just going to do something like this. Um, one really strange thing is that... Yes, that's right. If uh, you place a silo, even the silo needs to be connected to the road. That's a bit odd. There we go. Everything is hooked up. We can close the road tool by clicking again. No, it's not. We forgot the fields. Yes, you need to hook up the fields as well. So let's just do that. Go. Okay, our farm is ready. Oh, wait, we need machinery. So, and if you remember, I actually turned it around and for some reason it replaced itself. Anyway, to buy machinery, you click the garage. And normally, I would have clicked this button and I have done so many times, but that's just a catalog. I don't want a catalog. <laughs> it's a game. I just want to buy the machines when I need them. Yeah, and if you're wondering what that noise is, that's when you zoom in. Okay, let's uh, let's move the camera a bit. There we go. Click the guards. Click this small blue icon down here to the right. Okay, we want a small tractor and we want something to harvest the grass with, so a grass harvester. 
you could buy all sorts of different items but right now we're just going to start with this and since we're going to work with cows we need something to transport the cows that's the same place on the vehicles and just scroll down to find truck for animals right there okay now you need some workers you can see up here it says idle workers zero and you have zero workers here and zero here you hire them all in the main building so click the main building and i'm just going to hire three for the cow farm and two to operate the machines because you need one to drive the tractor and one to uh, drive the truck so click the farm assign three workers to the farm assign the last two workers to the machinery okay <clears throat> now we're actually ready we just have to speed the game up a bit and wait for the grass to go normal people would possibly think well grass don't just grow and yeah i agree grass don't grow especially if you're going to use it for feed <laughs> but here we go check that out the grass is growing <clears throat> so now we want to set up the automation of harvesting so we click on one of the fields click the small tractor icon click the tractor click the garage click the tractor click the extension click the garage click the harvester click type click grass click where to click farm click cow how much everything automated yes <laughs> okay and now i'm just going to tell the guy do the same for this field and the rest of the fields but i can't i actually have to repeat that process for each field and if i was growing anything like corn well anything else that needs to be cultivated first and you need to fertilize you have to set up that process for each thing anyway I love micromanagement games, but that is not <laughs> micromanagement. That's macromanagement. Anyway, tractor, tractor, house, tractor, extension, garage, grass, home, cow, everything automated. Go. Again, tractor, vehicle, garage, tractor, extension, garage, Grass harvester, uh, grass, home, farm, everything. And the reason you can select other places than home, that's because you can actually sell everything you grow. And I do mean everything. Even this grass, if I want to, I can drive it over to the city and just get some money for it. But we won't. We're going to speed up the process. And yeah, did you hear that sound? That means you got a message or a warning. And that just said the humidity is not right for the plant. Well, I don't care, I'm growing grass. I. But speaking of humidity, cows need water. So we're going to click the cow building. Down here to the right, you can see there is a water symbol. We're going to click that and enable water subscription. The same with the main building we're going to enable water so people have something to drink otherwise they will drive off in different places to get something <coughs> excuse me and then we're going to click this exclamation mark right here <coughs> terrible there we go exclamation mark and we can speed up the game There we go, you can see he's harvesting or oh, putting the grass into the building on his own. Did we buy a truck? Yes, we did. Now we need some cows or cattle. We don't have any and of course they won't just show up on their own. So we're going to click the vehicle, garage, truck from 
No, we want to bring two. That's our house where the red arrow. So click it once. Bring to our house. Meat cow. Because milk cows are not level one. From city. And what city? Well, just the one right there. How many? Well, ten is fine. Now, I could set up an automated process, which means he's going to drive back and forth, back and forth, continuously. We don't want it. We just want 10 cars, so we just click the plus sign once, and he's off. There we go. And they actually reproduced doing transport or something, I don't know. <laughs> okay, now while we wait, for the cows to just reproduce. I'm going to increase our field area. I'm going to create the land tool, click create, click on the other side of the road, roughly the same size as our previous area. Well, at least in width, confirm. And we don't have enough money. You can see it's 134,000 monies. Uh, let's just, uh, oh, right. Let's uh, retry that then. So let's do something like this. Can't remember if you are allowed to, no. So that's the size for the 2000. We can afford that. And let's plot down a field in there as well. Shift click, scroll with mouse to turn. There we go. Yeah, and you have to stay inside. Okay, and we need to hook it up to the road. There we go. That's just to make sure we got enough grass for our cows. Turn the road tool off, speed up, so grass will start to grow. There we go. And we're going to set up the same process as before. Select vehicle, garage, tractor, extension, garage, grass house, harvest grass, where to put it, at home, at this house, how much, everything. Automated, yes, please. Now I'm going to speed up the process to max and just let it run until exactly this is cow until they have reached the max limit for this farm and the max limit is 150 cattle then we're going to start to sell them because they're going to reproduce fast enough so that we can make some money from them there we go you can see it's 150 Click the farm, click the tractor, scroll down, click vehicle, click garage, click truck, click from home, yes, what to transport cow, where to, city, which city, just the next one, how many, well, I know for a fact that seven or eight is, is okay for automation. I'm going to enable automation and let's turn the speed down, click. You can see the truck drives around, collect some cattle, and I'll get money. Okay. There's something I didn't consider with this layout. We are very, very close to the city. That means he will possibly be able to drain our cattle resource before they reproduce because the length of the city. Well, the road. So let's turn that off again, select city again, and let him drive down here. Let's uh, let them reproduce again. There we go. And we can enable this guy. Of course he will drive further, it will cost more, but I don't have to worry about anything. I. I can just sit here and wait until I got millions now. <laughs> and if you look at the top, you can see 
these experience bars are moving slowly upwards. That means I'm gaining experience and I will soon level up. You need both of them to be full before you level up. I'm making money, I'm keeping food, and if you're wondering that third item, that's manure. Um, that's a problem, but not really, because the game designers did not include the <laughs> issue of having manure, so you can just leave it. Uh, normally, in real life, farmers would like to get rid of it, because it's just a lot of hassle to work with all that manure, and... Well, not to speak about the pollution and, well, all the problems. There's a lot of problems with manure. But I'm, I'm making money and you can see my graph is all green. And I'm soon able to expand. Well, I'm going to optimize my earnings right away. Since the, those are cows, but they are not milk cows, but they can still produce milk. We are going to allow that to happen. There we go, you can see we got this milk icon down here. So we are producing milk with these cows. And now we need a truck to transport the milk. Luckily I got one. Truck for liquids as you can see. I'm going to buy it. And it's now in my garage. But I need a truck driver, so I'm going to hire another guy. I'm going to assign him to the garage and I'm going to click the farm click vehicles vehicle garage liquid from home to or what cow milk to city what city well Berlin maybe how much everything automated go and now I'm also selling milk so I'm selling milk and cattle right now. And I don't have to do anything. Except listening to that weird thing. There's of course music, a soundtrack to this game. I I just disabled it because <laughs> oh yeah. Well let's just uh, give it a few moments to run and I'll Big cut in the video, so don't be surprised if the screen has moved. Ring. Well, there we go. <clears throat> we made some money, and we're still making money, and I don't really have to do anything. And you may wonder, what the hell is this shit? Well, I don't know. It's expensive because... In my opinion, there's a really only a couple of hours worth of uh, gameplay in this game. But uh, if you're really into management, this is okay. This is just a farm. Now, if you really want to, you could uh, go somewhere else, say here. Yeah, thank you for the noise. Uh, and start out by buying new land, build new houses and build another farm. And I think the idea is that when you are big enough and have earned enough farms, then you're going to start to work in industry. As you can see here, you can build factories. So you can transport your own goods to the factory, convert them into something useful and resell them to a, uh, a city. You could also start a game by just Borrowing a lot of money from the bank down here. And I think, yeah, 2.25 million you can start out by borrowing. Then you can buy a factory, two or three trucks, and you can actually just buy the resources from a local city, drive them to a factory, convert them, drive them back to the city, and make money that way. That's also an option. But you won't gain levels because you need to gain both of these. Yeah. And as you go, buildings will unlock you can see, storage as well, depending on what type of farm or factory you're using. New things, well, they're not new, but they will unlock on your profile. So if you want to start over, just create a new profile and you'll start over. 
There are some issues with the game. There we go. That rain is very, very loud. If you remember, I have my settings turned very, very low. There we go. It's even lower now. It's still loud. It's still very loud. That's a problem. It's very annoying because it rains a lot in this game. Let's see the forecast. Two and a half of three days it's going to rain. Yeah. Let's just get past the rain. And uh, that's basically the game. It's fun. Uh, but whether or not it's, it's worth the price tag on Steam, I don't think so. It's a good game. It's only f maximum 500 megabytes. Uh, unfortunately, the developer has a bad reputation. And uh, by playing the game, you can see it's not what it says on the box. But it is a good sim farm simulation. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, but there are some bugs, and I, I think I saved one of them. Yeah, there's no save. How, how am I supposed to save? Well, you click quick save. Okay, fine. I'm going to load a game. Well, click save games. Oh, but what game is uh, the one I'm playing now? Well, you can't rename the games. They're all just named quick save. You can't change anything. Anyway, I think this one is one of the bugs I produced <laughs> did you hear that ring that's just an achievement there's an achievement panel right here we'll go over the skills and achievements in a second yeah check out that guy what he is doing so see him fly <laughs> did you see that he flew across the river. And uh, any second he's going to show up at this farm. And funny enough, it's also raining here. There we go. He's right there. What? Is he? what? He's just driving over everything, turning around and going down this way. Okay, let's see this. Let's see this. What? <laughs> I can't too many uh, closer. What? And he's going. Way down here, let's just uh, start the game. He's right there. Just trying to scroll ahead of him. Another river jump. There we go. He made it. Good. And that's the farm he's connected to. Harvest. Yeah, good, good. He's working. Up to the town. Sell it. Yes, very good. Into the garage. Fine, that's fine. Let's just uh, wait until these far fields are ready to harvest. There we go. Oh, did you see that? He just speeded out of the garage and... Now drives up to the other farm before he's harvesting these fields. Why? There should have been some sort of pathfinding AI. And why does this farm has anything to do with the other farm except the game was not designed to do this? You're not designed to have multiple farms like this. But hey, I do. And uh, I find it funny. <laughs> 
However, you won't find any save games on my game where I have other crops. But there are many, many, many crops to choose from. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's, uh, let's reload that game we, we started just a few minutes ago. There we go. Let's check this out. Uh, well, let's just... Hideous rain sound. And you have to click the exclamation mark each time. Thank you. You can see there is this thing called My Orders. You can make orders or accept orders from uh, from the cities or factories where you have to deliver a certain amount of goods before a certain date. These orders are found in the market right here. This is not the orders. This is just showing the current state and development of each product. However, if you click up here, you can see available orders. And you can see what type of things different parties want to buy. And all you really have to do is take care of the total amount, the order type, and the penalty. Delivery date, of course. So, this guy, he wants to buy meat cow, periodic, and uh, 79. Well, that seems manageable. He's, that's price per unit. He's willing to pay 480 almost per unit per cow. That's good. He needs 37,000. I can't produce that. And certainly not before... 22, 10, 15, that's one and a half year from now. I can't produce that amount. And the penalty says 4,000 uh, monies. However, I know now that the penalty is much, much higher. That amount is calculated along the way because I took one of these crazy orders and I was unable to fulfill it. Then I got my penalty and your game over. You can't do anything. You can try to borrow money, and I did. I borrowed 1.25 million, and I was still unable to pay the penalty. Well, fuck that. <laughs> so, my advice, if you're going to play the market and do these orders, start out slow with the smaller ones. Order total. Yeah, you can see something like disables. That's a good order to start out with. It's not crazy. There's also uh, many different crops. You can see this is just a catalog of resources. This is the different type of animals you can breed. Cow, milk cow, pig, sheep, horse, chicken, rabbit. Different products you can produce from these animals. Plants, different plants. There's a lot. Plant products. Field resources, that's how you're going to control the pH value and humidity and, well, not humidity, these are not used to control humidity, that's water. However, they're going to control nutrition and pH value. And if there are insects or disease in your fields, you need to use herbicide or insecticide, pesticide, as you would usually call it. And you can click different cities and they will have different prices. Another thing to consider when buying and selling to cities. But one of the funny things I like, well, it's not that funny, but I really like the fact that I can play across multiple games and level up my own farmer, the same farmer, he's getting better and better. And unlocking more and more items, I'm getting new machinery. There's not really a lot of machinery, but it's funny to think that, well, I'm, I'm getting bigger and better at this. Final review. If you're into sim, farm me games, go for it. Uh, 
Personally, I'm afraid after this video, I probably won't be playing this game. I might try the industry part where I actually just go in, buy, borrow a lot of money and build some industry. But I think I'm going to uninstall this afterwards. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, please rate it, uh, comment it, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.